I do have a hobby, Andrew. It's sitting here with you. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Serial Killers. Okay. Some boys watch sports. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Play sports, but these two don't play. For sure. These two boys will save their pennies to oh buy God. special cash. Because they are living in a cereal bowl. Reviewing cereals is their goal. So when we go up on stage... Because the moose was knuckling, so I had to <laughs> go on. <laughs> so at the iHeartRadio Podcast Awards, yeah, are they going to play that? Um, I don't know what they're going to play. Are they going to play an open for us? Like, what if we win? Are they going to play some one of our songs? I don't know. I mean... Spoon Man! Yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I want them to play something. Um, do, Should we, like, practice an award speech or something? I, like, I don't are, know. Are do you they... going to write anything? No. Off the, I did it in my car yesterday, off the cuff. Oh, you did? Yep. Can, you, can I hear some? No. Okay, great. No, They're going to play us off within two seconds anyway. No, it's just it's just uh, just off the cuff speech, you know, like you know, hey, this is how it started, everything. And so you're going to be the one to speak on stage. No, no, no. I'm going to start, and then you go. So you're going to you'll get know when thirty seconds of the time of the forty five seconds they usually allot, and then it'll be like and and Andy, and I'll say thanks so much, mom and dad, no, and Jackie. No, bye. You'll, you'll know when to go, and you'll have plenty of time. Oh yeah, okay. I anticipate that we win this award, Andrew. I. I'm nervous. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's the iHeartRadio Podcast Award. It's happening March 11th in Austin, Texas at South by Southwest. We are nominated in the food category. Yes, we're a best food podcast. You are listening to an award-nominated podcast now. Yes. Like, think we about that. We can always that. say that. Yeah. Always. Even if we don't win, we can just always say that. <laughs> we're like a golden turd. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know when like people are at the Grammys, they'll say, nominated for 18 Grammys. Oh, this is their first win. Let it be known, yeah. if I was ever nominated for a Grammy... An Oscar, an Emmy, or a Tony. Listen, I'm I'm going to use this now on everything. I'm an award nominated podcast host. Yeah, we need. Like, we, can we make some uh, like a logo or something? A award nominated. Thing? Yes, I think we should add it at the bottom. We should add it. Award nominated. Yes. Oh yeah, I, I'm going to use that till the end of time. I'm an award nominated podcast host now. Mm-hmm. So it just Co- adds a little host. bit. Co host. Welcome to Serial Killers. It's the Farmland Fresh Dairy Studio. I am Scotty B. Hold up. Okay, here we go. Her le- the levels are so low. Yeah. Why so, is that? I-, I don't know. So Andrew's also concerned about other podcasts while he's in here doing our podcast. So he's just going to text the producer in there while I tell you about the brand new cereal that we are going to introduce to you today. General Mills, our good friends at General Mills, sent us a big old box of new cereals a couple of weeks ago. And this is one of the ones from that box that I did not buy. It is uh, one of the new Cheerios cereals. You ready for this one, Andrew? I know you're very concerned about in there. Yeah, it's just it's so low. Why is that? I, it's okay. You could raise. I see. I see levels. You're good. Look, I see it. That's how okay. it looks when Scary records too. You're oh, it fine. is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're All fine. right. So anyway, check it out, Andrew. It's uh, Maple Cinnamon Cheerios Hardy Nut Medley. Yeah, so it's a big old box of things. I'm excited. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Look, there's Cheerio cereal. There's crispy flakes, which is not normally in Cheerios. No. Almonds. And pumpkin seeds. So they basically, it's like a bran of some sort, like a raisin bran almost. No, not at all. <laughs> Thanks. It's, it's actually not. It's like granola. Well, I mean. It looks like a granola. I would say more like a trail mix. Okay. How about that? Sure. Let's split the difference. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? What was I going to say? I um, Guys, hopefully we'll have um, bowl chats more frequently. Fingers yeah, we, crossed. Yeah, we've run into a few issues. Um, No, there are no issues. The only issue is, guess who? Ding, ding, ding. That is not true, and I'm not going to get into this with you. <laughs> There's no need for an argument here. No. It's just that the place to record podcasts are in the studio. That's so funny because every other podcast I work for every, is not in the studio. Every. And they make it work. But they're and all they together. can record from home. All right, listen, this is so silly. It's so silly. We'll figure it out, okay, No, Andrew? we did. You're going to get the dongle, and then we're going to be able to record bowl chats from home, so this way we're not tied to here all the time. Cool, cool, and cool. And this way we all show right. up for our listeners. Here we go. I'm going to go back to the Farmland Fresh Dairies fridge. He doesn't like that. No, today we're going to use <laughs> Farmland Fresh Dairies 2% milk in the plastic jug. Oh, you love the plastic jug. I do. N- yes. Not, the- because I can't take a good picture with it. Yes, because you have to fill it up. So when we, go to the, uh, when we go to plant number whatever it is out there in Pennsylvania, Farmland Fresh Dairies, mm-hmm. I'm going to ask Mr. Wayne uh, if we can get some fake jugs. You want props. I want fake jugs, and so that it always looks like it's full. Wayne always shows up, so I I'm, I'm, wouldn't be surprised if like we go home with like yep. a whole carton full of <laughs> Here we go, props. Andrew. Lots of flakes, lots of O's. Mmm. Very crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know if it warrants three mmms. It is it's pretty good. 
And for a Cheerio cereal, you know, this is not what you expect from Cheerios, obviously. I love this. It tastes like fall. It's like fall in a cup. Right, they released it in the wrong season. I, this is delicious. I give this four bowls and a spoon. It's got a little too much crunch for me, personally, but mm-hmm. the taste is there. It's absolutely there. I don't think it needs the pumpkin seeds. I'm going to give it three bowls and a spoon. There's a lot going on in my mouth. It's a little bit choky. Just a little. I, I can see that. Um, I can see that. But overall, I wish this was released in the fall because this would be like, it's like a nice cozy cereal. Yeah. All right, three bowls and a spoon for me, four bowls and a spoon from Andrew. Hey, real quick, do you have time for us to open the box that General Mills sent us today? Absolutely. Very excited. So because Look at us, award nominated. Yeah. Getting packages from General Mills. Well, that's because I filled, out, I filled out the form. <laughs> it's so funny because you remember three years ago when yeah. I sent it to you to fill out, and now yeah. you finally are, and now you're actually getting the things because yeah. I logged you into the email that told you how to do it. <laughs> so, so, so look, we're going to share gonna share the love. Thank you, General so much Mills. Love. So oh, much this love. is so exciting. So, uh, we just got a big box of new cereals, so I can't even imagine what kind of love they're sharing with us. Oh, cool. That's Thank weird, you so much. What's well, a weird way to open it. Yeah. Oh. oh, happy Valentine's Day, Scott. What's up now? That's so cool. Okay. Oh. So, what we got is... Um, my... Also, these are all Valentine's-themed things. Yeah, there's no cereal. Yes, there is. Uh, the Chocolate Cheerios Valentine's Day back. Oh, my pack. goodness. Uh, Cooper could take these to school and give them out to her friends for Valentine's Day. Remember when you used to have little cards with the peanuts on them? Yeah, and there's also Chex Mex Muddy Buddies. <gasps> I Chex love Mix, Muddy Chex Buddies. Mix. Look, That's not a cereal, though. Cookies and cream. I'll put milk in it and eat it as a cereal. Then there's Lara Bar Minis. Yes, Lara Bars. Then there's chocolate oh my God. chip cookies. Yes, Pillsbury. What is this? Minis. Soft. <gasps> Soft baked. Look, can I have one? Yes, you can. And oh. fruit roll-ups. Minis. <gasps> and look. Look, it came with little things to put them in and give them out to your classmates Aww, and friends. So cute. These actually look like the apple pie things, the old school ones from McDonald's. Yeah. Right? The fried ones. Thank you so much, General Mills. Thanks, General Mills. You guys are the best. The best. I'm so glad I signed up for it. Yeah. Thank God Scott did something. <laughs> All right. I thought I was going to get a cookie. No, we're, not, we're eating cereal okay, now. Okay, great. All right, so this is from our friend Matt. Okay. Got this in one of his boxes, one of his many, many boxes. I just have a question. Yes. What about the rest of my cereals? From months ago. This one? Yeah. I don't know. It's all stale. Oh, that's so interesting. The (laughs) cereals I bring in, where do they go? The graveyard. That's the new cereal graveyard. It's any cereal Andy brings in because Scott perfectly curates every episode, but but just conveniently leaves Andy out. But we did two of those already. Okay. So we can't do a third of listeners who like sent me things. We can eventually. When? Because it's just been sitting there. So this is from our friend Matt. And there it is. It's a store brand, Rallies. This is a West Coast supermarket chain. Uh, I believe they're only in California and Nevada because I did a little bit of research. Oh, cool. So this is a store brand, Rallies, Raisin Brand cereal, wheat flakes with raisins. Cool. And it looks like Kellogg's-ish because it's got the sugar-coated raisins. Great. The only reason this box is open, Andrew, is because Diamond came in here earlier this morning mm. and made me open it because she wanted some Raisin Bran. Oh, I love Raisin Bran. So it is fresh. It's brand new. Look, Great. Matt. No, it's look. not fresh and new anymore. This one that my family friend sent us and we never tried. But we did a bunch of their cereals already. So we've gone through literally every brand of Raisin Bran. This is the third no, version of a There's, cereal. There's so many more Raisin Bran. <laughs> There's so many more. So many, so yeah. many. <laughs> oh my God, I'm choking on those Cheerios. Know what's going to be funny? What? When um, they do the award show and they have to show a clip of your show. Like, you know how in the Oscars they'll be like, what are, you gonna, what, are you, what are you sending them? I'm not sending anything. They, I don't I don't know what that'll be, but. Well, well hold on. What, like, what got us nominated? What, I don't. What, you must have sent them a clip of the show. No. So I'm a member of the Podcast Academy. I don't you, know how I even got this invite. Wait, do you get to vote on us? Yeah, I did. I, I did already. I voted for us. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's one vote. It's good. If, if you closed your eyes and didn't look at the box, I would think Kellogg's. The raisins are good. I like the sugar on them. Those are my favorite kind. Um, It's good. I'm iffy on this. Really? It's raisin bran, dude. It's bland. No, it isn't. It's sweet. Get a bunch of raisins. I'm not getting that. Mm-hmm. What? Three? Okay. Four bowls and a spoon for me. It's delicious. I think it pairs very well with the Farmland Fresh Dairy's 2% milk. I like that. I don't know you. What are you talking about? I don't know you. Yeah. That's a lie. Well, if you live near a Rallies. Or Rallies? Rallies? Any, if I gave this 
This is insane. This Why? is madness. What are you talking You're about? You're giving Raisin Bran four bowls and a spoon. I like Raisin Bran. Okay. Look at my Kellogg's Raisin Bran rating. I'm sure it's the same. It's way sweeter. That's why it makes sense to me. This is not sweet. The flakes are just meh. The raisins are like just whatever. We'll fight this out and be back right after this. Hi, I'm Wilford Brimley and I've had diabetes for about 20 years. And we're back. Mm. You know, Wilford Brimley would have had diabetes for about 40 years at this point because that's an old clip. Old. I watched Cocoon over the weekend. Uh, I think you mentioned this to me. I don't think I did because they were just fresh back from the weekend. So you didn't mention it to me last week when no. you know we recorded it? No, because I watched it over this past weekend. Oh, okay. Well, on, you mentioned it the other day. On DVD. Okay, that's cool. Wilford, oh, yeah. Wilford Brimley is wearing swim shorts. <laughs> it was cool. That's awesome. What a great story. Hey, before we get to the next serial, can we do something we haven't done in quite some time? Sure. Let's take a trip. Serial Killers visits the Serial Graveyard. You should be excited for this. I am. It's been quite some time since we've been in the cereal graveyard. I know. It's so spooky in here. Look at all the cobwebs. I have to get the RIP tombstone back, and we got to post it back up again. You need us. nothing else in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what made me think of this cereal. So, also over the weekend, I had nothing to do. I couldn't also? sleep. Also? Also? Also over the weekend? Yeah. I've, I've all of a sudden started watching Seinfeld also? again. <laughs> Seinfeld is on like in the middle of the night all the time, so I was watching an episode, and you know... Uh, if you watched Seinfeld at all, that he always had a whole array of cereals mm-hmm. right over the stove in his kitchen. Always. Always. It seemed to me that a lot of times they were General they Mill were cereals. General Mill cereals, yes. Not always, not, not always, not but always. lots. A lot of them, yeah. A lot yeah. of times. Yep. So I noticed this cereal. Ah, yeah. I noticed this cereal. <laughs> Shut up, Andrew. <laughs> I noticed this cereal on the shelf in the Seinfeld <laughs> episode. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I don't think I really remember that cereal. This was 1991 when this episode was out. Yeah. This cereal, I did a little bit of research, actually came out in 1991. Yeah. And was only around for maybe three or four years, Mm -hmm. and then it vanished. Mm -hmm. See if you remember this. You don't, because you were in diapers or not born yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, here, listen to this. If you like Rice Krispies, try triples. We think you'll do a triple take. Triples is crisp like Rice Krispies and tastes so good. So surprising, you might just do a... Triple take. <laughs> so try triples with tasty rice crisps, hearty wheat crisps, and sunny corn crisps. Triples has a taste that'll turn your head. Why? And might just have you doing a triple take. So everyone in that commercial was doing triple takes with their heads. It was blah, 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 blah. So, like, so cool. they got whiplash when they were going. That's so, just me on the daily because of my acid reflux. Yeah. So <laughs> what, just, what? Always going like this. What triples was, it was. Uh, they were trying to do away with Rice Krispies. Oh. You know, General Mills was coming in and be like, no, 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 Kellogg's, look at us. You got Rice Krispies, we got Krispies that are rice and corn and wheat. So it's a triple take. Mm. It almost, mm, it didn't last like too long. Chex. There's like a Chex that's double-sided. No, that's Crispix. Yeah, that. Mm-hmm, and that's Kellogg's. Yeah, but what I'm saying is <laughs> there is something like that. Okay. Now. Sure. Okay, it's not that much of a stretch. Don't make me feel like I'm the crazy one here. Anyway, I don't believe I ever tried triples in my life. I don't I don't think I did unless my mom bought it when I was young. I don't remember triples. Um, yeah, I don't either because I was not born. Well, you were like a year or two at some point. So if it was 1991? You were born in what, three, four? 1991. You were what, born in one? Uh, I was born in one. Yeah, so you were, you were like one, two, and three when that cereal was out. Yep. Maybe at three you had them in a little cup. Yeah, I don't think so. In a little but, elf cup. Yeah, no, definitely no, but I'll search our photo archives. <laughs> I, you know what? The fact that you bring that up is fun because I'll go back and look at old pictures when I was a kid. Yeah, and I'll see old cereal boxes from the eighties. Oh my god! I'm, I'm gonna start. You know what? I'm gonna post someone. There's like me sitting at the kitchen table eating Frosted Flakes, so the old school box. So it'll just be Scotty on our Instagram page. Have well, a I mean, great time looking. You weren't born yet, and they're vintage cereal boxes. I think that's fun. I, that's a project. I, I had a vintage cereal once. Yeah, what was it from two thousand? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Do you remember when you fed me the 2000 Cheerios? I do. It's still under there. You want to try Why? it again? What? Throw that out. No, that I, I bought that on eBay. That was expensive. I'm not throwing it out. Dude, you really... I'm not going to get into this with you because you're going to have a small panic attack. I, I have to show you something. The Hoarders episode will start. No, no, no. I can't get rid of right. it. Let me show you something. This is my great Aunt Lucy. She would want me to have this box. I have to show you something that's really weird. Sure. So look what came up on my phone moments ago. From who? From where? Sanderson what? Farm. Oh, no, Lidl. That. Lidl. So that's Lidl. Okay. Oh, look. Uh, uh, Secret Squirrel Joel. Cool. Also texted me. Wow. But so the next cereal is from Lidl. And oh it already God. was. I didn't swap it oh out. Oh, my God. I'm telling you. It wow. Was. How weird is that? It's How a, it's a store weird brand. is that? It's a store brand. Store brand. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> that we're not going to talk about, which just got texted to me. So, <laughs> we're gonna... look, so I was walking through the aisles of Lidl with Cooper the other day, and look what I got. Magical Forest cereal. That is the creepiest mascot I've ever seen. So, on Canva, this is one of the free clip art. Is it really? For real? <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is like clip art. That's so funny. It's so, great. So, this is your fake Lucky Charms. Yeah. And I, I, what would you? what do you think his name is? Oh, Piper Roll. I think my name's... Charmy. I think it looks like Winston. Charmy. I'm calling him Winston. Charmy. Is that poop on his shirt? What is that? That's his little pocket where he keeps his gold. Oh. And right. his spells. Well, anyway, it's Magical Forest by Lidl. And he's a wizard. Yeah, there's a word search on the back. Let's play. Um, eh, all right. I do have high hopes. Because almost all have high hopes for Almost all of the knockoff Lucky Charms that we've had. Have not been terrible. This one is very look at look at the coloring. It's so like the marshmallows are fun. Yeah, but they're very uh, not. What's the bland? Not bland. What's when there's not a lot of color in things? What is that called? Muted. I don't. Maybe it's yeah. Um, As your daughter would say, mm. it's a muted aesthetic. Yeah, it's not very aesthetic. It's, it's more not coquette. It's more pastelli. She stopped saying that already. Wow. Yeah, that that came and went really quick. This is definitely not uh, lucky charm. This is lucky charms coded. What? Lucky Charms coded. This is giving Lucky Charms. It's giving Lucky Charms. It's giving wizard. I don't I don't love I don't really don't like how kids speak now. But then again, my parents probably didn't like the way I spoke either. Yeah, they probably didn't like how I said red and tubular. I never did. <laughs> and then kicked up my skateboard and grinded on things. So we've covered this cereal with Farmland Fresh Dairy's two percent reduced fat milk, vitamin A and D. Cool. Here we go, buddy. There's a lot of marshmallows in a here, lot. and I do like that. Yeah. And I like the colors. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. That's lucky time. Yeah. It's got to get five bowls. Yeah. I love Lucky Charms. This is five bowls. The the marshmallow to cereal ratio is almost 50-50, mm-hmm. which is wonderful. And the cereal pieces are not quite as frosted as Lucky Charms. Yeah. But it's still magically delicious. No, no. They don't say that. They're good. <laughs> <laughs> They're... Oh, wait. You can't say magic. So that's filled with fantasy. Yeah. No, but there is a fantasy one also. I think Walmart makes that one. Hmm. I forget. Anyway, that was a pretty good episode, Andrew, except you hated the Raisin Bran. But other than that, I had a great time with you. I'm glad you made time for me. Thank you very much, buddy. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And I hope that, you know, we can make time for each other from our homes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, hey, you know what? Look for those um, chocolate Cheerio pouches in stores for Valentine's Day. You've only got two days. If you don't know what you're going to give your Valentine for Valentine's Day, go pick those up. They'd love them. Here, sweetheart. Here's a cereal packet. I didn't get you a ring. Here's some Love cereal. You. Well, it's a whole lot of rings in the bag. I would kill you. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you to our friends at Farmland Fresh Dairies. Please follow them on Instagram at Farmland Fresh Dairies. Yeah, Check- go get them a follow. Yes, please do. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, please follow us at Serial Killers PC. Um, Lots of award news on the way. Yeah, we're going. We're going to be in Austin together. Our tickets are booked. I'm so excited. Do we have to share a room? No. (gasps) We don't? No. I kind of want to a little bit. Oh, okay. I I want to record you when you're sleeping. What? I'm going to jam marshmallows in in your mouth while you're sleeping. Please don't. I sleep hum, so we would be annoyed with each other. Apparently, I snore. I didn't know this. Yeah. I thought I stopped. My sleep humming is intense. I got a new night guard. I just shaped it yesterday. I'll just be like- That's hot, right? Isn't that hot? You will wake up next to someone with a night guard in their oh mouth. Oh, my God. I don't wear it with the ladies, only when I'm solo. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's 99% of the time. <laughs> anyway. I this night guard. <laughs> have, a, have a great day. Thank you for listening. Uh, until we see you, hopefully, on Wednesday with a bowl chat, say crunch, Andrew. Mm. Crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.